I'm going to talk about the CLEAR trial, which was the frontline randomized phase three study. It's a randomized phase three trial, which actually had three arms, but I'm going to focus on the control arm, which was sunitinib, and the study arm of lenvatinib and pembrolizumab. Lenvatinib is a broad spectrum VEGF TKI with some FGFR activity, and pembrolizumab is a PD-1 inhibitor. It's been used safely together in phase one and phase two trials. And this is the pivotal randomized phase three study. The results of the combination showed a statistically significant improvement in progression-free survival. Indeed, that Invatinib and Pembrolizumab is an unprecedented 23 months median progression-free survival. Remember the overall survival of kidney cancer patients going back a year or two or, or three or four it was only about 24 months. Now we've got PFS of 24 months, which is terrific. Uh, we also showed response rates of 73%. Again, these are extremely high. And, um, an overall, and a statistically significant overall survival benefit in the region of a hazard ratio of 0 0.70. When one looks at this in context, we see that the lenvatinib and pembrolizumab working across broad subgroups of patients, irrespective of issues like sites of disease. There continues to be controversy in the MIMDC good risk patients regarding the survival signal. Lenvatinib and pembrolizumab, and indeed all the other combinations, have not yet shown a survival benefit in this subgroup. But I think all of the other subgroups are um, benefiting LenPen, and in the good risk patients, the response rate and PFS are higher, which is why the community still gives the combination to this group of patients. The adverse event profile showed a large proportion of patients had to reduce the dose of lenvatinib from the 20 milligrams. They showed adverse events in line with the combination of VEGFTKI, as you would expect, things ranging from hypertension, hand and foot syndrome, fatigue, um, across to pembrolizumab toxicity, we know about diarrhea, um, pneumonitis, etc. It's notable there was very low levels of transaminitis, um, which wasn't the case for axipembro, for example. In summary, it's fair to say that Invatinib and pembrolizumab has terrific data in this setting, clearly beating sunitinib on all the parameters we've tested to very reasonable treatment. And it joins Cabo Nevo and indeed um, Axipembro as PD-1 VEGF-TKI choices in unselected patients in frontline metastatic clear cell renal cancer. Guidelines such as the ESMO guidelines group, which I'm involved with, give LenPen, Lenvatinib Pembrolizumab, a 1A, strong supported evidence, as you would expect from this positive randomized phase three study. It's EMA and FDA approved, in fact, globally approved, I can imagine. It's a really attractive choice for our patients, and along with the other agents, has revolutionized the way we treat this disease. Mm -hmm.